Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about Kubernetes Lab 106, Labels and Annotations. Before we proceed, please subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Labels play a very important role in Kubernetes. Labels are a key value pair used to tag and select an object in Kubernetes. They can help to select one or group of objects with same label or labels. You can add them while creating an object and modify them later if required. All keys in an object must be unique. You can add multiple labels to your Kubernetes object. A label key has two parts, an optional prefix and key name. They are separated by a forward slash. Label key prefix must be a DNS subdomain and could have maximum 253 characters. If there's no prefix, label is assumed to be private to user. Control pane component and automation tool must add prefix when adding a label. Label key name and value are must and could have maximum 63 characters. They can only start and end with a letter, small or capital, or numbers. You can use dash, underscore, dot, or letters and numbers in between. Label selectors. Label selectors are used to identify a set of objects. You can use an operator equal to, not equal to, in, not in. Annotations. Annotations are similar to labels. They are used for information purpose only. This information could be fetched later. Some examples are build, release, timestamps, pull request number, or any information related to an object. Kubernetes.io and kth.io is prefix used by Kubernetes core components. Rules similar to label apply to annotation, key prefix, and name. Annotation value could be larger and have non-human readable data. Let's practice. In step zero, create a Docker Hub account on hub.docker.com if you don't have it already. In step one, open Play with Kubernetes, log in with your Docker Hub account, Click on Start. It'll start a four-hour session. Click on Add New Instance. In Step 4, click in the terminal and run steps in Lab 101 to build the cluster. Please check the link for details. We also have the commands for you here. Create three new instance. So we have three instances. Let's go to the first one. Take the command, enter it in the first instance. It'll take a few minutes to initiate the cluster. Once the cluster is created, you will see kubeadm join output here. Make sure you copy all three lines. Go to and paste that kubeadm join. You'll see a message, this node has joined the cluster. Go to node three and do the same thing. You'll see the same message. This node has joined the cluster. Go to node one, type command kubectl get nodes. You'll see all three nodes are there, but they are in not ready state. Go back to the steps, copy this command, and paste it on the master node. After a few minutes, you'll see that all the nodes are in ready status. Let's go to step five and run the command kubectl get nodes with the option of show labels. You'll see that every node labels are visible now. Observe that there is a label with beta.kubernetes.io and architecture, ERCH for architecture. Beta.kubernetes.io is the prefix for the label key. ARCH for architecture is the key name, and after is equal to AMD64 is the value. Next label is beta.kubernetes.io slash OS is equal to Linux. Same thing with kubernetes.io forward slash ARCH for architecture is equal to AMD64. On node one, there's an extra label, node-role, dot kubernetes dot io slash master. This is to denote that this is the master node. You can observe other labels here as well. Let's use the command kubectl label node node two. 
DC is equal to south. In this case, we are giving a label key without the prefix. Name of the key is DC and value is south. Similarly, let's give a label to node three, dc is equal to east. You can use the command kubectl get nodes dash l key and value of the label to filter the list of nodes. In this case, we'll see only node two here. As we have seen in the example, when you run the command kubectl get nodes dash l dc not equal to south, you will see all the nodes which either do not have the label DC or value of the label DC is not equal to south. In step 10, let's create a new pod with image nginx and name web. Let's see what labels have been applied to this pod. And you'll see by default, there's a label with a key run and value web, which is the name of the pod. Let's give a new label to this pod by using kubectl label pods, name of the pod, with the key environment and value is equal to prod. Let's confirm our label have been applied with show labels. And this time you'll see the second label is also there. You can also apply the labels while creating the pod with the command kubectl run name of the pod image minus l key of the label and the value. In this case, we are just creating a new pod web one and giving the label of environment stage. Let's look at all the labels for all the pods. So you'll see that we have the environment prod run web and environment stage on the new pod. You can also add annotation by using the command kubectl annotate pod, name of the pod, key and value of annotation. In order to confirm that your annotation has been applied, use the command kubectl get pods web, which is the name of the pod, dash o yaml, which will give you the entire detail, which in this case, we are just doing a grep and looking at four lines after annotation. This will confirm that new annotation has been applied. In step 18, we'll see how to update the annotation and same applies for label as well. You have to use dash dash override to change the annotation. In this case, we are changing release to 1.1. And we can confirm that with the same command we use in step 17. You'll see that our annotation value has been updated from 1.0 to 1.1. You can also apply more than one label with a single command. Another way to apply label is in the YAML file. As we have seen in the pod replica set and deployment video, In this case, we are adding labels app with the value of demo, type with the value of web, annotation with the release of v1.0, and delivery q3. Hit escape and colon wq to save the file. Use kubectl apply dash f to create the pod. To check both label and annotation, use the command kubectl get pods demo dash o yaml and grep with the 10 lines after annotation as labels are right below the annotations. And you can see that our annotation delivery q3, release v1.0 and label app demo and type web have been applied. There's an extra annotation which have been applied by the Kubernetes which you can observe here. Delete the instances. And close the session.
Thank you for joining us today. Please like and share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates, and join us on Slack for interactive chat.